<laughs> Come on, bro. Go on somewhere with that shit, bro. What, nigga? That's just Ew. <laughs> That's how you start the podcast. We got that shit on the low, fam. <laughs> <laughs> It was just kind of there, and I was like, "Dang, I just clicked the record. Hopefully, they don't hear it." And I was like, "Let me just announce it if if they do." So they like, know. You gonna send that to the people? <laughs> here, just here, y'all go. Here's a part. Nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I think you Leave should. Me. All right, y'all. Back in here, bro, man. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, that's that's not how we start this. Start it off. How man. we start this? Start it man. off, bro. Start it off. We back in this piece with Real Matic Season 4, Voice of the Culture. We're going to remove that other one from Season 4 and put it to 3, I think. Because this is this a real new start for real. Why are you so close to the dang camera, Marlon? Don't worry about why I'm so fucking close to the camera. You want to be that close <laughs> to the people, man? Yeah, Shoot. I want to be that close to the people. Damn. You don't care about your fans like, like that? I do, man. We missed y'all. Real Matic Podcast Season 4. We here. We got Ben. We got Marlon. And we got Ra. The Avengers have assembled. We are here. We are both. What is it? Was that Voltron or what is it? I, I don't know. I I don't like I don't appreciate the eye roll, Ben. Hey man, go ahead. Do your thing, bro. <laughs> go ahead, man. Get, let's get it. Let's talk. Let's uh, talk. Man, What's going yeah, on, this, man? This episode been? 47, man. How y'all boys feeling though? Shit, hey right, man. Having a good ass day. Yeah, yeah man. It feels good to be back. Yeah, we haven't been on in a minute. How long has it been? Like a month now? It's been like a month and a half. But in a month yeah. and a half, we've had a lot going on. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. been like life. Yeah. Life hit the Real Magic Podcast and we had to take a little break for everything, but we back. Mm-hmm. Uh, what up with me? I graduated college. So Yeah, know, that boy you know, graduated. We done with college. Uh, I've traveled to Chicago. Had like mm-hmm. some adventures out there in in life. I got lost in Chicago. I got I yeah, it was a lot. Ah, uh, what else? Shoot. That boy Marlon came to visit us. Yeah, Marlon yeah, came to visit. Came to town. Came to visit. Hey man, Georgia's weird now. They don't feel the same <laughs> used to. What you mean, bro? What you that mean? Like, no, bro. That shit like a whole new place. And then Ben trying to be nice the whole goddamn weekend and shit. He had like, <laughs> he had like he ain't never met niggas before. Like Ben would be a real good host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I had this man Marlon. He was with me and stuff. So we was cruising through the city and shit, just living life. You know what I'm saying? He was like, bro, this shit don't seem the same, bro. <laughs> he was getting hard, like. Yeah, you're a vibe with the person too well. I was like, oh, I need, I need to see the catch is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what I went to Cali. That was that was an adventure. Mm-hmm. Uh, what part of Cali did you go to? Went to LA. Went mm-hmm. to LA. Stayed there for a week. What'd you, you say? Great time. I don't know. You breaking up, Marlon? You had a great time in Cali, though. Yeah, I did. I had some Damn. fun. Um, a lot of dispensary running around. I went and visited some friends in Cal and Cali. Uh, went to Compton. There is a difference between dispensaries in Compton and dispensaries that are like in the white neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. So with like, me, did you go like, to the hoods of Compton? Yeah, like my friend, she lives kind of like in the hood of Compton. So mm-hmm. you know, I get to see some of that and see the, that side of life. Um, but other than that, yo, like Cali sunlight is crazy. It's just beautiful out there. I would live there if I could. He said the sunlight Hell, is crazy. It feels <laughs> different, man. That's a different sun, man. <laughs> but but the homeless population in Cali is ridiculous, and somebody mm. needs to do something about that. It, it, but it won't be me. Damn, why it can't be you, bro? It can't be me, bro. Why you can't help them out, bro? Bro, them What's boys got colonies, yo. Like I can't break up what they got going on, man. What? The street corners was like this is they block. It was crazy. It was a you lot. Trying to help the homeless, bro? Can't do it. Damn, crazy. Yeah, you want some other shit, bro. I, I would if I could, but it's just like, nah, it's too deep now. Y'all in too deep with it. Nigga, you can change <laughs> one person's life, and that means... Yeah, I can change one person's life, not the whole colony on the street. LA need to do something about that. Start somewhere. <laughs> I saw a rat the size of a squirrel while in LA. That's every day, though. That thing was huge. I was very scared. I was very shook. I was like, wow, that's a huge rat. But other than that, man, we back in the Real Magic Podcast season four. Yeah, man, we back in this bitch, man. And you know we got the topics. We Hell got the yeah. things that y'all want to hear. Let's Shit. get it. Starting off the NBA playoffs, man. These Hawks, boy, them boys getting far, man. Like, damn, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> they getting far, bro. <laughs> Bust whooping the air right now. Hey, man. Y'all would never have thought, if we go back to episode one, that Rob would be able to talk about basketball. Mm. Now I can talk about it. <laughs> 
just name a different Chicago sports by no sports at all. <laughs> the Hawks are in this is game what it's going to game four now, right? Well, at the time of this episode, we're in game four, mm-hmm. and the Hawks are now down by one. It's two to one. Hopefully, the Hawks win. I don't know because if they go back, Bayana snapped his ankle on the referee last yeah. night. I don't know, man. Yo, man, they, Trey better <laughs> be playing next team. game because if not, yeah, we're not gonna win if we gotta go back to Milwaukee. Mm. We're not gonna win if we go back to Milwaukee. Damn, like not at all. We at least got to get one home win. I'm mad they lost Hunter. Once they lost Hunter, it was like, damn, they lost that that body to uh, defend Giannis, and then they lost um, they lost somebody else too. They lost Reddish. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I, I'm excited so. to see where the Hawks go. Um, I really do think it's, it's going to be like it's going to be Hawks versus Suns in the end, in the finals. I, they, mm, I don't see it. I know they like it's they they trying they trying to milk the most out of it, bro. They paying the refs. I'm bro, telling you, they last night, bro. Come on. Yo, that man was on fire, bro. Yeah. Whole level, bro. That's, that shit. He really crazy. was, bro. He wouldn't miss. I w- I was in amazement. That man, it went from he had like twenty five points to to ending up in the end with like thirty eight. All he did was three. Nobody mm-hmm. could guard him. Nobody. That shit crazy. I was like, as a Hawks fan, I was like, dang, I can't even like try to be a hater. This man really <laughs> just was in y'all. No need. As a Hawks fan, I rely. Uh, <laughs> season four <laughs> <Same problems. laughs> the shenanigans continue <laughs> <laughs> the connection shenanigans continue uh, I don't care no more <laughs> you're back you're good yeah, I'm done keep going I'm done I don't care no more that's how free but nah bro I, I really feel like they overachieved man cause coming into this season nobody had them getting to the playoffs so for them to even get this far is like that's amazing well, it's, so, it's because of the coach change. After after the Hawks coach got fired, and then they just put this dude, uh, whatever, Dave McMillan, I think it is, whatever his, yeah, whatever his name is. Yeah, when they put him in, he gave them kind of like an idea of how to play or how yeah. to focus their movements because Floyd, which is the last coach, was not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. It was like he was putting them out there and letting them just play. Now, yeah. now he got some plans. And like I can say, I've kind of learned, like especially watching like last night's game and like, in detail you're like dang i understand where you're trying to move people to guard certain people it was like ah mm-hmm. this makes sense just a little bit more now when watching basketball that's it that nigga watching basketball now yeah. y'all look at that shit <laughs> I'm, I'm watching basketball i'm watching baseball which is a mm-hmm. whole other thing of why is baseball so long i've watched soccer never again. don't want to it's not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah i know them baseball can't be long as hell though bro baseball long it should be like three hours, bro. For two points, bro. For two points. It'd be, it'd be crazy. But yeah. Um, I what is everybody's prediction? Who who do you see in the finals right now? Um Bucks. Gotta be yeah. Right. yeah. That's what I see as well. So you think it's gonna be Bucks? Yeah. yeah. Bucks and who? Bucks and Suns? Yeah. Yeah. So the Suns, they just not gonna get beat. They just gonna keep going. Nope. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> the Clippers they lost Kawhi, so once they lost Kawhi, it was pretty much it's a done oh, okay. deal after that. Yeah. yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, but no, I really do think it's going to be Hawks versus Suns. It's going to be like, how, how can they overcome this? They're not beating them. They gonna figure it out, bro. Uh, it's like it's they paying off the refs. They just trying to make it like the Cinderella story, bro. They they just want wow, it to, bro. Yeah, they, they want the most the out of thing. it. They put too much money into State Farm Arena. Atlanta want their money back. They're trying to get the most out of this, bro. By the end of this, by the end of this, bro, a Hawks jersey going to cost at least like one thirty. They trying to get, they trying to get all that junk up. They trying but how to they gonna beat them? Right? They gonna do it. They gotta do what they gotta do. Now. Nah, bro. They a little too young, bro. <laughs> too young? They too, too young. Too inexperienced for the Bucks. the Bucks. They don't have an answer for Giannis. Once he's downhill, it's like, no, what do you no. do? No, no, no. Giannis, they don't got to answer the Middleton. Like, let me really Yeah, they really don't. Like, Giannis ain't no shooter. Middleton's the shooter, bro. Because Gallinari can't defend nobody. Well, man, like, who hit all the quick and defenders? You know, Collins can't really defend. Hey, man, chill. Col- Collins could do it. He can't defend. He could do it, bro. He just, he, he, they be pulling him out the game too early. Like, he'll, he'll, five, play, he'll play, the, he'll play the first five, first five minutes, maybe. Maybe the first full quarter. And then he'll pull him off for a second. He won't even come back till maybe like late in the third. 
that's a weird thing, cause bro, you like a starter, bro. So why the fuck keep pulling you out of the game? They pull like, him so out early, bro. Like they'll keep Kevin, they'll much, keep Kevin bro. Herter in longer than they'll keep John from time to time. Like it's just like you don't dude. do much. If he's he not knocking down his threes, it's like Bogey what are you putting him on the floor for? Bogey ain't been knocking down his threes lately, so it's been like, what are you doing, Bogdanovich? Come on, that's true. But it's like I'd rather have you on the like these last two games. That man has not been making no threes. Listen, but I'd rather mm. have you on the court because you might potentially make a three. <laughs> yeah. Maybe ain't no guarantee, but you might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You might feel it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I just feel like I just like it when John, John Collins, and Trey Young are on the court at the same time because they have this chemistry that works. So yeah, they do. But then Jock gonna be doing shit. Damn. They're not beating the Bucks though. But uh, all right, fine. Whatever you want to say. Y'all, I'll see yeah. y'all in the finals. It's all good. Yeah, y'all gonna see it. <laughs> y'all gonna see it. <laughs> all right, man. Let's get into this album review. Woo. Tyler the Creator. Call me if you get lost. <sighs> so this was released on June 25th, 2021. Yes, sir. Through Columbia Records. What y'all think about this album? Now nah, you go first. You can... Call on nah, me. You said what? You go first. You, you have to go first. All right, all right. <laughs> um, for me, it was a solid listen. I liked it. It was better than Igor to me. Yeah, I like that he rapped more. I like how it started off. I like the vibe. It was smooth. You know, I like the DJ drama in the background. I like the content matter. It was a couple dull moments where it felt like he was just, just rapping just to be rapping. But I feel like lyrically, he improved. He showed me a lot of progression on this album. The beats are nice. The background vocals, I like the the features, you know, NBA Young Boy, 42 Doug. I like that shit. That was cool for him. Like, it's good, bro. Good little album. I would, you know, I fuck with it. What y'all think about it? Marlon, me or you? Where do you want to go? Now you want to go first? Uh, I can go. I can go. I'll go first. Go ahead, Marlon. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Bro. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. <laughs> Okay, I'll go for it because, bro, as a, per, as a fan since 2009, the growth and the progression is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And just like, it's like he's like your best friend. You be wanting that nigga to win so bad, bro. Like, and, and to see that nigga could be like a top five in the game, like, you have to, you have to respect that, honestly. Hmm. Like, it's debatable. He could be top five, whether you, whether you like it or not. And it's just, hey, man, it's, album, it's like, bro. He's pushed cre- the creative button every time. And you might well say his music doesn't even have a genre at this point. Mm, that's how you feel like. like he, bro, he, he did it with rap. And he told y'all niggas, I can make an experimental album. And y'all, y'all niggas will still love it. So it's like, you got to take that from the good and bad. And as an artist, as a whole, the creativity, bro, I think legit is a conversation to say he makes the, he makes the most, I ain't going to say iconic, but the, the, the better beats in rap. You And like I said, just, Hey, production. Hey, look, he's up there, bro. It's like there's no comparison. You can't name your favorite rapper who do better than him. Like, just saying, man. And at a point, hey, man, like every song really gave you different things. And honestly, I can't even name the exact song. It was like a song he was talking about his relationships and like, or how he was messing with his homeboy girl. It was just like, hey, man, the introspection of his tracks lately has been real honest or real different. Hmm. I'm just saying, hey, man, at this point, how can he lose? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I really do like this project. Like, how like, how, how, how would you hate this project? Like, yeah, you really like, can't like, hate this one. Like, you can't, like, I like I just like how that, that first, that first part in the beginning is, like, sun's beaming, then the beat just kind of drop it, and it's just like, hey, I'm so impressed by the use of DJ drama. DJ Drama sounded perfect on his album. Like, yeah. at first, like, when I heard uh, Lumberjack, when it came out on a single, we were like, okay, he got DJ Drama. It's just going to be on one song. But mm. then to f- have DJ Drama on there, almost as, like, a narrator and, like, a guide on, like, uh, on, like, the train, like, mm-hmm. of, like, of this album. Because, like, you know, if we saw, if y'all saw, saw, like, the videos, like, he's sitting on the train, he, oh, the black, uh, brown sugar salmon or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. It just feels like, the conductor is DJ Drama, and Tyler's a passenger on the ride, and he's talking to himself or he's looking out the window as the world passes. And it's that feeling where he's making you feel like, yo, you gotta go, you gotta expand your mind, and you gotta travel, you gotta have some fun with it. And um, I, I like that he he 
he's looking at he's looking back on his life so far a, a good amount in this album where you you have uh like i think the, the, the interlude for tomorrow. blessed and um you can just tell that he just feels good and happy with where he is in life mm-hmm. and with of course his regrets of what he did in his con- well he doesn't you know, in a sense he doesn't regret what he did with the girl in this in this in the album he mm-hmm. just kind of hates how it ended mm-hmm. um the the tracks that really do stand out all of his features work yeah all of them work yep from all of our dj drama stuff i will say one of my favorite songs on there is lemonhead 42 doug when that man came in bro you hear the whistle it sounds like a nuke about to fall in on the track and he just kind of lands and it's just like yo why is 42 doug on here and why does he sound so good and every time the beat kind of like stops it feels like you switching gears and he just wants to keep it going uh lumberjack we already know was good what he was in his bag on that shit boy yeah he was he was he was like yo i gotta rap on this i'm gonna do this uh and then he just did his bt performance which Mm -hmm. was really cool with um his with like the whole stage being torn apart and it's a lot of stuff um as we know like on all tyler projects track 10 is always a two-part song Mm. so uh we have like sweet it's called sweet and then the other side is i thought you wanted to dance i don't mm. like it yeah i don't like it either i I, I didn't get what he want to do with it yeah so before we even got on and started recording i was just telling ben i felt like i've heard it before mm-hmm. like i feel like thundercat mm-hmm. could have done something like this um i feel i feel that steve lacy could have done something like this Mm. Um, and he like, I feel like, like, it just really felt like something that I could have heard or I've already heard. That was the only script. feature that was wasted. That Brent Fair's feature was wasted right there. I didn't even, I bro, I'm listening to that song hella times. I still have, can I find that's Brent. what I'm saying? I was telling Rod, I don't even know where he was on that song. Yeah. Um, it, it's, and even like the second half of that song, it's just like, I don't like this. No, no. Like nobody understands the direction of that song. It's like, but what was you trying to tell niggas? Like, I don't get it. Like, no, for real. Like the oh yeah we're trying to uh, I thought you wanted to dance it's 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 okay of a song yeah. like it's not like that's what brings the album down like a point for me was well, just was that song it was just like it, I don't like it, this. it was like it was like one of Igor throwaways if you think about it hmm. it like, could have been on Igor I could have seen it on there um yeah uh Tyler and Damo uh Dom, Damo Genesis Domo but like mm-hmm. that felt good to have him back in on a Tyler project yeah. And um, if you if you are a person who listens to him, still like Damo, um, he still raps, he really and he can fun. rap. He can rap, yeah. He can rap, so it's like I'm happy that Tyler kept him and brought him on for this, and especially with for what the song was about, because they you know the intro is like, "Oh, this white told me I should say something." Tyler don't mm-hmm. say nothing, and he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, man." Um, he talks about that, like, and he's like, "Yeah, I feel like." From the stuff that he says in the song, he's like, "Y'all might view me as a coon," but he's like, "Bro, I don't have the answers, and I'm not gonna add myself my extra input into this mm. if I don't need to." Um, that's really deep. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, y'all might call me a coon or whatever it is, but this is how I see it, and I'm not gonna really add more." Um, there's the there's the talks of religion yeah, again like, on there. Well, people look at Tyler for like political opinions, though. Like, like what like what real input could you get from him? The mm-hmm. Super fans look for Tyler and for his opinions. Uh. The song with Little Uzi Vert and Pharrell. Told you, bro. I told you that shit was gonna be fire. <laughs> yeah. We even heard it. I knew it was gonna be fire, bro. I knew that shit was gonna be fire. Like that joke was hard. That Uzi man. verse was crazy on that beat. That shit was nasty, bro. I was yeah. like, that's the, it right the, there. Uh, the skirt, and then he just kind of come in. He was like, "Yo, I like this." Pharrell hard. I like um, the visuals on that. The video too. Yeah, that good. yeah, that shit was dope. Yeah, man. Um. Mm-hmm. NBA young boy. Listen, bro. I heard him, even when he dropped the preview on YouTube, I knew that this was gonna be hard, regardless of how it sounded. I'm sorry, bro. I, I oh, no, 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 no. Pause. This bit Ross on bitch ass was really hating on young boy. <laughs> I, like, before the album came out, this nigga was dissing young boy. Bro. Oh god, bro, bro. Like, bro, that nigga is a goat, bro. Leave that, leave that nigga alone, bro. That nigga slid on that shit. Yo, I, I was like, wow. NBA young boy. But came on that, a Tyler the Creator song, but man, that's that's and whole, did that good. Like, you know nothing about Young Boy, but you would know Young Boy could do some shit like that. Nah, facts. 
No, like, I've been, I, I've been I'm just like of- I was. I was impressed by it. Like it didn't make it be like, oh yeah, this is my weakest song on the album. Like it was one of the best songs on the album that you could see being used on like satellite radio, radio, whatever in general. And it just felt good. It was like, wow, mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah, dope. Cool. He man, what that. this album really showed me is that we need a Lil Wayne, yeah, Tyler the Creator Tyler produced Creator. album. We need that it's shit, bro. Time, we need it bro. every single bro, that's time. That's my bro. favorite song, bro. To like, get damn, it. bro, that nigga spaz on that fucking beat, bro. I, I love the song. Do you know who would have made that song just a little better with it? Pretty Gibbs. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was I thought like, the same shit. I was like, bro, yo, on the cousin that shit was crazy. Yeah, I was like, yo, Freddie I was thought like, and the thing shit. is, I really thought Freddie was gonna be on it because, oh, uh, God. <laughs> because Tyler was on uh, Alfredo. So mm. I figured, oh, Tyler, would be like, hey, yo, come on this because it gave you that um, whatever song Freddie. Tyler was on in mm. on Alfredo with like, mm. oh, the, it's the boat I haven't drove yet or whatever it was bought yet. Mm-hmm. I felt like he really was gonna put him on there, but he wasn't. But I, but if Freddie came out and was on that song, it would have been it even been. even better. That would have been the icing on the cake right there for real. Because I was like, man, this shit sounds like a need Freddie on it, bro. Yeah, damn, Freddie would have made this song so much better. Um, Wayne killed that verse. He and, did, man. Oh he my. always killed his verses on that shit. Yeah, those. Yeah, Tyler. Because like, yeah, that's like the that's like the third or fourth time that we've had like a song where Wayne's on it with him. Um, yeah. Even back when it was like Cherry Bomb, and then we had it on um, Cherry Bomb. We had Flower, Flower Boy. Boy. Yep. Uh, yeah, there was nothing on. There was nothing on Igor, was it? I don't think so. I don't think so. But the, it it, it, it felt good to see that. Know. And yeah, like we, I would like, I would like to listen to a Lil Wayne project produced by Tyler. I need that shit. Just give me like six songs, man. That's all I need, bro. Six songs. Like I said, I'll take that over Kendrick out, bro. Wow. I'll take that over Kendrick out. <laughs> it's it's gonna be a good project. It will be a great project. Mm. Uh, but yeah. I um I can take it over Kendrick. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Why, bro? Because we need Kendrick. Like, right? Like, do, do you we? understand? We live in a world Ooh. where Tyler the Creator right now is holding one of the best albums of the year. Mm. In comparison to the stuff that's dropped this year, Tyler has dropped one of the better mm-hmm. projects of this year. I'm about to say it, Something that's not it. gonna just come and then you got the best album. You might just say he got the best album. Like, who, like, who like really, we got a couple more months. Who, I'm not gonna say that, but I will say so was, far, no, I'm, his I'm is saying, what's I'm, most impressive in comparison yeah. to the yeah. real cold world over here. Oh no, no, he it was better than cold album. I'm saying it was, it. exactly he like album of the year. I'm that you telling about. me one of the biggest names in the rap game has dropped and it wasn't. Compare, you can't even be like, oh yeah, it's oh, it's it's Tyler not crazy how niggas switch up, boy. It's crazy how y'all niggas switch up, bro. Is it, is it really? Y'all niggas is it is really? fucking with that cold album, but stop acting like, yeah, bro. I'm not saying it, saying it isn't. Look, yo, with that cold album, bro. In a comparison, Pretty is cold album better than Tyler's? <laughs> Tyler ain't dropped yet. Is Cole album better than Tyler the Creator right now, Ben? No, it's not. Right, right, then. Not even close. No, we live in a world said, where Tyler I've can create a better Cole album. Cole album right now. I've been said that shit. I said it was all right. Yeah, no, I I've that. been said it was all right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So on a scale right. of, on a scale of one to ten, what do you give? Call me if you get lost. I give it a seven. Seven. Nine point five. Damn, Damn a man, a seven. Yeah, I give it a nine. Man. You you so count. you think it's one yeah. of his best albums? Yeah, out of, out of, out of the last It's in the top three. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's like top three for him. Definitely the top three, bro. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, bro. Nah. Like, if you give it, because, like, Tyler's best album is Wolf. You yeah, got Wolf. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, it's and this Wolf. Is from the fans. It's Wolf, then the it's, fans. um. What's his best album, then? What's his best album? It's Flower Boy, his best album. No, Flower Boy's number two. Uh, yeah, we'll put bro, Flower Boy paid the bills for that nigga. I'm sorry, bro. Flower Boy, bills. which is fine, but yeah. it's Wolf, <laughs> it's Wolf, then Flower Boy, then this right now. What's this like? Mm. What's, what's like four on the list, bro? Like, like this is like number three for him. Five, like, it's not bad. Is four on the list for you, bro. I really can go. I really can go. Flower Boy, call me if you get lost. Igor, then then like Wolf. Nah. Igor was not that good, bro. bro Igor, bro. Igor was good Igor for the was time, good. but it wasn't like it was like, oh yeah, this is like the best project for Tyler. Like it was acceptable. It was because it, it was like if you compare it to like Cherry Bomb, and then you look at Wolf, uh, uh, Igor, you're like, okay, this is acceptable. If you compare it to uh, Cherry Bomb, yeah, yeah it's it's pretty. Well, if you good. compare it to anything in Tyler's discography, it was acceptable for him it was for a good one. album it was a good experimental yeah. album let's, let's, let's put it like that it was good yeah. at experimental yeah but it ain't top three though it was, better than, it was better than wolf 
Yeah, nah. Igor was better than Wolf. Nah. Yeah. The features, yeah, the features on Wolf. Not even a little bit, bro. Mm-hmm. You gotta listen to Wolf again, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, so I just Wolf feels so dated to me. Wolf feels dated. I can't listen really? to Wolf. Like, who he is today, it don't sound right. Him saying like, it don't sound like, right. You got the song. The song nah. Colla- uh, uh, Colossus. 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 Got, he, he whatever. Got Colossus. Colossus. He still had the hate in his heart. It just don't, it just don't sound right. But it was like, it was like, yeah, I'm transitioning from the hate, but it felt good to listen to. It was he like, was in yeah, his bag. He was yeah, in his bro. That's what it was. He was in his bag. Bro, he used to rap like a demon. I like, think like, he was hate bag. Yeah, but that, like, it. but he felt good. Like, okay, Wolf was the perfect balance between his his old demon hey, like, side of him that, and, like, him that, actually having some damn sense. It was and he was in his hate bag. So to talk about bro. something. He, that nigga was in his hate bag so much that when he, when he started to transition to all, like, on songs like Ants and shit, it, it sounded so off. Like, it didn't sound right. But those were good. Like, Answer. No, I know. They were answer, good. Answer. Uh, it was a good song, but, but at that point, it's like I ain't think he was really gonna like jump far left with it. I ain't think. Bro, it was, yeah, uh, Frank on that shit. I don't think he had a uh, Erica Badu on that. Can shit, I say? If I'm not mistaken. Can I? Yeah, she. No. Yeah, I think I believe Erica is. Yeah, on she was on, like, Can I just interview. say Frank Ocean is the biggest troll ever? Because if you don't, 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 if you know, he's know. on. He's on. Uh, if you if you call me if you get lost, but he's he literally is? yeah he's that's him talking at the end of um Lemonhead. And I'm just like, why are you talking? Like Ty- yeah. Frank, Frank, Frank do Tyler it. does this. He lay me in the studio, and he'd be like, "Hey, yo, you want to just talk on this to get people's hopes up?" <laughs> Literally, that's it. Because there's no need. Like, you're not going to use him as a feature. What are we doing here? Bro. Stop putting this man on projects. Frank does not want to make music, bro. It is what it is. But on a scale of one to ten, Ben, you're giving it a seven. Yep. I still, I thought I, that's wild. That's low. It's but, good. Uh, we're it's gonna good get, so we'll get a seven. I'll give it a nine. Marlon, and you give it a 9.5. Shoot, there we go. Tyler, the creator, Igor. Oh, oh my God, not Igor. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Only, you know, on real yeah. Yeah. Only on the Real Maddie Podcast. Only on the Real Maddie Podcast, Maddie. you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but I really want to just go ahead and jump straight into J. Cole album now. True. So we got J. Cole off season. It was yeah. released on May 13, 2021 through Dreamville Records. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, we a little yeah, late, but like now it's been... Look, we may be a little late on this, mm-hmm. but now this is these are ears that have listened to this project front to back, yeah, enough times yeah. to really tell y'all. <laughs> yeah, be honest, it was me. It was me. J. Cole mm. made the perfect album for review it from when y'all first heard it to now. Okay, because it's a different it, it, opinion. Y'all it's got. not the code that you needed. Like, I feel like the songs were good, it's just not the code that we needed. We like we didn't want that for code. I think mm. we wanted more, we wanted more. I'm not gonna say what. Um, just bro, just give me some more personal. I just feel like bro, you wanted to make hype tracks. I I, I don't think that's the code that niggas want. Nah, man. Mm. Like, you like, you had to almost like, bro. You know, certified lover boy is not gonna be no goddamn hype track. Like you need something more personal, bro. It's like I don't know. I, don't know. I, I feel I like know. that man Cole from the day, first day when we heard it, it was like, what am I listening to, bro? What is the point here? Why'd no, you drop this project? There was no progression. Like, you know what I'm saying? Happened, so, man. No, 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 no. What I say was, Cole made the perfect album for the woke basketball player. <laughs> no, Brett. It was like... For it was the like, woke basketball right, player, right? It was like more life. It was like more life for Drake, bro. You dropped it, but it didn't do nothing for you. Like, no, no don't, don't sit here and be... What? And be like, more life to do shit. More Did you say shit. this man dropped more life? He didn't, drop, he didn't do shit for Drake. More life ain't do nothing for Drake? No, not at all. Stop it. Because no, I'm dead ass. Stop it. You a whole Drake fan. How are you gonna I, lie to I yourself like that? I don't know like, bro. That, that shit was like pointless. Like it was no. good songs on it, but the whole product as a whole, what did they do? You know what I'm saying? For the progression. Like, yeah. like even the way Cole was hey, hyping bro. this project was just disappointing. Because oh, he really he was really uh, yo, he dude was like uh, he was uh, acting uh, like he was about to change the rap game with this. <laughs> oh god. Bro. He didn't try, he didn't try. He dropped that little documentary talking about yeah. Like you going back to the Forest Hill Drive house. Like, come on, fam. Stop. You ain't writing your best songs. He, he promoted a different album, bro. It just wasn't the same album. Y'all gotta stop capping though. Y'all know y'all fucked with that album when it first dropped. It was, dropped. Like, no, bro, it it was like it was like yo, cold drop. Let's listen to this because we want to. But then, like, when you really sit there and listen to it, it's like it wasn't what you wanted. You this wanted ain't it, bro. Like, this isn't what because my thing is like, even with Cole's acting like he about to drop the biggest thing in the world, you haven't you've really dropped some of your best songs already. 
that mm-hmm. I can see you dropping right now. Like Born Center was so perfect. And then to come to this project and break your streak of features, no of having no features. And then the people that you pick, it's just like and no, you know, the, the features were good. I just feel like I'm say it. was it? I, 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 yes, yes. Was it I when was, every song I felt like I was listening to a lot? Bro, just in a different beat package. Every, bird, every feature was good though. King, don't, don't diss the features. What did y'all want from Cole? Bro, I wanted another for you, like for your eyes only. I needed something. Mm. Bro, I needed like his thing about rap, right? It don't always gotta be groundbreaking and like in like next level. Sometimes, bro, just give me something personal, give me something I can relate to. And then it think about what we got in the world. You would think at a point you ain't did nothing for that. You see what I'm saying? You're not giving people. Like Born Center, for example, you're not giving us something we can live with. You see what I'm saying? These songs are literally for this moment. And bro, what's the like? like you're not going back to them songs that that <coughs> are. I do yeah, because it's on the playlist. Other than that, I'm not searching for them songs. You yeah, know, like I well, go ahead, Ben. He sounded really confused on this album because mm. it would be lines where it's like, you know, I'm rich as fuck. Then the next line would be like, well, money doesn't mean everything. Yeah, like fam, what the fuck, man? Like, yeah. what are you really saying on this album, fam? Like, either you're gonna be that rich nigga or you're gonna be that broke nigga. Don't talk know, about niggas like, at fucking Wendy's <laughs> cleaning up the fucking floors. Like, he's gonna, fuck you, bro. Like, come on, fam. He don't, he, he don't want to be. He don't want to like. He he likes being rich, but he don't want to be labeled as a rich nigga. He want to be so relatable. He it's like Cole. Man. It's okay to not be relatable sometimes, bro. Yeah. It's okay to be different, Cole. You don't have to relate to every single well, nigga in the room. Niggas. I ain't yeah. like the other rap niggas. Like, come on, Cole. You supposed to be the best. I'm not getting that from Cole. And that's my problem. Like every time I listen to a project, I want to hear this nigga coming for the throne. He never coming for the throne, bro. He don't come for the throne anymore. He don't. Like, or he like he's not rapping. Like he has to defend it. When you really do. When you're at a point where Tyler the Creator can come up and really drop something that's niggas like, have been keeping him in the top three for fucking years and ain't nobody put him at number one. No, yeah. he's third best. He's like he's all right. What kind yeah. of shit is that? Like, like on, Kendrick Cole. hasn't dropped in years, you, you and it's realize, just like you how, do you realize how bad you is when when the when the, the nigga who's above you hasn't even been dropped. In like he hasn't fucking years. dropped. He hasn't he dropped. Has, <laughs> He still had to drop. He's against, this nigga he didn't give y'all niggas a single. He didn't give y'all. He didn't even talk to y'all niggas. And bro, he didn't even give y'all a feature, bro. <laughs> he he silent. He's the greatest nigga never, silent. never dropped in three years, bro. bro. This man is silent, and we still haven't bro. changed our position. Yes. It was days nigga. number two at least. Oh, what the fuck, Cole? I bro. needed some maturity on this shit. You have kids bro. now, or a kid, Drake, or whatever. Drake drop, you have Drake a wife. This, bro. It's, it's, it's a part. Drake could drop hella bad songs. He'll still be better than Cole. Still be better than Cole. This whole album was without flawed, trying. Drake is better than Cole. That's sad, bro. That's Cole sad. has a pin. Sad, bro. But Drake has better life. Everything. Cole raps better than Drake, but he will never be better than Drake. Like that shit hurts my hip hop heart. Quick <laughs> How many Drake lines can you can you remember over, over Cole lines? Hot bitch fell in my lap like <laughs> cappuccino. I remember that shit. <laughs> I remember that shit. This mm-hmm. one I can think I of. Whole, I can, I can, man, I can write a whole paper of Drake lines. Yeah, then it's just, it's like there are highlights in the project. I'm not gonna say every song was like, oh, this is so bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. That's the it thing. Was it was not what you wanted. Yeah, like I like, I actually like the last song on the project. Uh, what is that thing called? It's uh, Hung- hunger on the hillside, which yeah. is pretty good. I actually liked it. Um. I didn't like the fact that we started the album off with the 95 South hmm. with that. Like, you like yeah. that See, I think, I think I've gotten into this idea that Cole projects are supposed to start off just a little slow mm, with yeah. those intro kind of tracks where it's kind of giving you an idea of what we're going to be talking about. And that's why I'm just like, he I he felt like talk. this album was for people who are playing basketball, watch war, more basketball, because that was really like his whole focus is like, oh, I'm gonna go be a ball player. It's really a workout. Go. It was workout music. Yeah, and that's what I'm like. Just, I'm not really though. Not really. Yeah, it was, bro. He it wasn't. He hype. didn't give me nothing to live with. Like I like the applying pressure, which felt I, good I to listen it. to, but yeah, like even okay. Even the features that were on there. So we have, so we have Twenty One Savage. We have yeah. uh, what is little baby, little baby. baby. We have Boss and we have Black. Boss, but which 
I did not hear boss. I didn't hear him either. Any of those. Really? So yeah, I, I don't really know how they're saying boss is only. I don't I really couldn't really hear him. Yeah. All I really heard was Cole. Um and even using little baby on the project was like we know little baby the biggest in the rap game. Like mm-hmm. we know everyone like but I feel like Cole got that feature too late. If anything, I feel like you know what I mean. Like we already know, little baby's here. This thing, bro. You got that nigga on your song just to rap for you. <laughs> That's sad. That is. It uh, is. Honestly, they said they had um Timbaland on this shit. I'm just like the beast wasn't even all that, man. J Cole, he got to get out of that fucking studio, man. He need to go to somebody else's studio, bro. Cause he's just he's in an echo chamber right now, and it's just like. Dude, switch it up. Yeah. You're still trying to prove yourself. Why are you trying to prove yourself? We know you can rap. Mm -hmm. Now you should be saying why I'm the best, not why I'm one of the best. We know you're one of the best. Stop talking about that. Separate yourself from Kendrick. You have not done that. And that's going to be the biggest stain on your career, bro. He never will. Like once Kendrick drops, we already know it's going to be a fucking earthquake. Yo, like I when, think, Ken, I when Kendrick dropped, the world going to go crazy. His name. This nigga, Cole, is like 36. Fam, you don't sound 36 on this project. I'm 26. That's all I'm going to say, man. A lot, a lot of the stuff does feel like it's a freestyle also. Yeah. But that's not saying it's a bad thing. It's just saying that it feels like these lines are rushed and just, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get something out. Cause I need to pay some bills because I'm not gonna be able to play basketball for that long. Mm-hmm. Bruh, it just was no feeling, it was no heart. He put, like he put his passion into it, but it wasn't no heart in it. I want to say, like his bad this best album shit. Hey man, look, he had a feeling with all his music. It just wasn't there. I can't believe niggas was calling this a classic. Disgust me. It, it was a classic being the fact of what what came out in the last like two years. <laughs> nah, it wasn't. It wasn't though. It wasn't. But ain't nothing came out. And then it really came out, so it was kind of like, shit, hey, this is yeah. crazy. No, nah, not really. That man, okay, whatever. On a scale of one, I'm, I'm done talking about Cole, because he's not looking, and people talking about he's going to drop a deluxe. No, he's not. He's literally going to give you all this pack, and it's done. Keep that. Yeah, keep that deluxe, man. You're good, good bro. All right, man. Scale of one ten, what do you give it? I give it a five. That's kind of, that's, that's, that's the truth, bro. It's five, it is it's a five, bro. I was gonna say a five. I was, I was gonna at least a, a seven for the effort. No, <laughs> for the effort. <laughs> no. That five is for the effort right now, because right, he do, he's not giving me anything to go back to. Yeah, it's That's nothing that thing. I'm like I have to go back to this That's project. Thing. It, was, it was a seven for effort to be in fact that like, bro, it was nothing else that came out that was good. If you think about it, like even down to the song interlude, which was like really the single. For it, was it really that good? Yeah, it wasn't. Nah, because I feel like he felt like that line about, "Oh, Jesus died at twenty three, so did Nipsey, and so did Pimp C." I'm like, no, that was hard. That, that, that was hard. That was hard. I don't mm-hmm. care. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm hard. not impressed, Cole. What you <laughs> noticed <laughs> that one day, and you were like, "Oh, Cole, man, stop doing the hooks, bro. Let somebody sing, man." <laughs> Yeah. Let somebody come on and sing, bro. Come on, man. You can't fucking sing. Stop. <laughs> you do feel like you can sing. So, yeah. Swear. But, yeah. The <laughs> they the gonna be season. like, man, we was hating on that shit. The off-season. <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter. Hey, it man, is it, is what it is what it is. Bro. It is what it is. But, yeah. So, that's that, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Y'all heard about Soulja Boy versus uh, Bow Wow? I did not get the chance to actually watch it. I didn't want to watch that. That wasn't nice. But I've watched all the memes and everything roll that out. Hilarious. Oh, they, yeah. The way they're arguing back and forth. Um, what is it called? We got they brought out Romeo. Yeah, they brought out Romeo. D, uh Bow Wow called out academics and was like, like <laughs> Can you DJ? <laughs> Do you really know how to DJ? I've <laughs> never seen you DJ. No, that's a fact though. You never seen DJ academics actually do that DJ. shit. Yeah, but in, in in essence, who do you think really would win? Who really won? Who has more hits? Who has opinion? more hits is Soulja Boy. Bow wow. He has more hits. Bow Wow? 
You think oh, that one has more? Bow Wow. Hmm? What? That one in his prime. Nah, bro. <laughs> like, I can name, I feel like you're lying. You're just trying not to be real about it because you know. No, that's, that's close. But we, you, we're too young to remember, but we got extra mama song, bro. Like, I had little Bow Wow CDs, bro. I did. I'm, I'm bro, not going to say I did. I was too young for that. I had I like, like little Bow Wow. You wasn't. You wasn't though. Bow Wow had hits. He had hella like, hits, but but Soulja we Boy know so Soulja, Soulja Boy, Boy had, oh, bro. Soulja Boy had hits, bro. Maybe what was Soulja Boy last hit, bro? Come on, he had that. Many. Fucking this, he, he this got shit that he got right on the now. TikTok. Yeah. Does that clip, make a clip, clip, clip? Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, like, and that's like I, a I, recent I stuff. Know. Yeah, no, it took a while to realize that it was him, but it is him. Um, but like, yeah, you got the baby name. Uh, kiss me through the phone. Mm-hmm. Like they do I that like, song. I just like Bow Wow in front of his bro. I think you fuck with Bow Wow more. Mm-mm. You don't fuck with Bow Wow more. Hell no, nah, that's not my gen- bro. That's not my generation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bow Wow music was lost on me, bro. I knew who he was from television and movies, bro. I didn't know who that nigga was musically. Nah, he had like little songs, but it was nothing like I'm like, yeah, I got it. He was still that Bow Wow. Too young for it. I feel like we was a little bit older. We, 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 we would talk differently about it. Mm-hmm. People said about what won, though. You did win. Sure. I'll tell you, like, the older crowd relates more to his hits. Mm. Soda was shit. Soda was shit is good, but bro, how many of them songs are you really going back to? I'm going to go back to them. I would. Yeah, I would. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Well, we, y'all waited too long on that response. <laughs> <laughs> we waited too long for the way too long on the response. <laughs> are you are you listening to Kiss Me Kiss Me Through the Phone right now? Yeah. I really am. <laughs> I really <laughs> am. I'm not gonna lie. I really did like two days ago. I was listening. I was listening to Kiss Me Through the Phone. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, sound like that. That's a pretty good song, man. Hey, you trying to go like hey, what is your name? All right, I won't listen to this topic. But... I'm dead. Y'all got into the uh BET Awards. Um, I watched some of it. Um, I okay. You know what? It's the first episode of season four. Let's just bring this little piece up. The baby and Megan the Stallion. Mm, yeah, <laughs> she got spicy. <laughs> so Tori and the baby have a new song together, right? Yep. So have y'all heard it? Yeah, I have. It's not bad, right? It's straight. Not bad. So, it's- Tori took in that song, bro. You said what? As a Tory killed that song, bro. He a Tory fan. <laughs> I'm not a Tory but fan. But am I am I lying though? He killed the song. He did his I'm, thing. Yeah, he did his thing. Not I'm gonna say he didn't kill the song. I even enjoyed the baby switching up his flow a little bit. Like that was worth it. He just yelled. That, exactly. He, he, <laughs> he, he <laughs> used his voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. He switched up so much, even though it was the baby here first. Yeah. Wait, what? I said, bro, the way he switched the flow up so much, you, you didn't even know that was him at first. You no, you did. Yeah, you really did not know it was him at first. And I thought it was Tori rapping, but it actually was the baby. And it felt, it was like, wow, you can actually rap like that. Congratulations, man. Um, that With that song, now we know that Megan's mad about it. Because mm-hmm. apparently they're supposed to be friends, the baby and Megan. So for the baby to go behind her back and kind of make a song with Tori, it's a little shady. And then the baby's like, man, that's not my beef. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I just want my bread. The baby like, it's bad business, bro. Who do y'all side with on that? I feel like, yo. The Who do y'all baby. Side with? The, the baby. It makes more really? sense. Really? Yeah, man. Like, I can understand how or she could be a little annoyed by it. Mm-hmm. And, but. That's not my beef. It's not. It's not my beef. Bro, mm. you could not have to go get this bag, bro. But so, well, y'all supposed to be friends, though. But. How, how much I'll break it to you it? like this. I'll break it how to much you. Like you get they are, bro. Like they're not they're not that close. Let's say it like this. Let's say somebody punched your mom, right? Mm-hmm. Then one of your friends mm-hmm. goes and make money with the nigga that punched your mom. You wouldn't feel a certain type of way. Yeah. You okay. be like, man, that's you know, that ain't my beef, man. I'm just trying to make some money out here. <laughs> that ain't my beef. Yeah, I ain't okay. punch your mom. That makes sense. <laughs> I put <laughs> I'll punch you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it makes sense when you say it like that, I'll, which is I'll, true. I'll punch you on my being staying Bill's still hanging out with me. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's it's a little it's it is a little bit of like dang, baby, was the money really worth it? Mm, to work, to work exactly. For that. 
Exactly. Well, also, it's also that feeling of like, yo, I am real enough to be like, yo, I not gonna say that you did it, but you know, I'm gonna still work with you because like that's the whole thing that even Tori was always like, yo, y'all trying to switch up, like, bro. I didn't do it, or whatever he's trying to say, whatever the story he was trying to say. Mm-hmm. I like the pushback though from Megan because it makes it still seem as though she actually got shot by Tori. Because before that, we thought it still was just like, yeah, just made up but shit. I thought I saw the full picture. I believe she got shot. Yeah. So at that point, it's kind of like. It was more about when he when he going to jail, when he going to court. Mm-hmm. It's like nothing ever substantial happened after that. It was kind of like a lot of silence and just shading on social media. At that point, it's like, what the fuck going on? Mm-hmm. I think it's wrong in her defense to kind of feel like, you know, the baby owes some sort of alliance to her. Because, I mean, he is an artist of his own right. Yeah. He doesn't have to do anything for you. But he at don't. the same time, I don't know their relationship. So. I don't think I don't think I don't think they really friends. I think they were work friends or some shit like. Yeah, yeah. So can you really blame the nigga? I don't know, Actually, man. He's I, trying I to make know. some money. Yeah, bro. Let him make his money. I know Megan's gonna feel some type of way. Um, so, next, but it will be what it is, and then we'll yeah. see what happens when the court time comes and Tory may go to jail. So we'll see. They said the uh, Doja Cat wins top R and B artist over SZA and Janae. So. Damn. So she doesn't even make R and B. What is SZA drop? That's true. That's true. You can't get listen, bro. Don't you wait? We're sp- we're supposed to continue to. That's the thing, bro. Jasmine SZA Sullivan, has... huh? Jasmine Sullivan. Do- Doja Cat. Oh, it's quiet. It's quiet now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's quiet. It's real quiet now. Jasmine Sullivan on her way. Back no, in. Way, no she way. on her way. No, she's like she's like making her way back into this world of like music for real. It don't so matter. I'm not gonna say. But Doja Cat has been flaming up. I'm sorry, bro. Like, she's I can't not making no R and B. Y'all know this. Matter, bro. It doesn't matter. No, bro. you can't say it doesn't matter. When I'm Jasmine just saying, like, how do we keep throwing R&B? SZA back into stuff? Come on, Marley. Come on, nothing. Marley. It don't matter. <laughs> Come on, nah, nah. You know that bro. shit wrong, bro. You know that it, shit. It's wrong, wrong baby. It doesn't matter. Come on, man. Like, uh, I'm not saying that Janae Eco doesn't deserve an award or anything. Oh, she, 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 her, 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 her born. Oh my god, yeah. stop, bro. He made great this not, he made like, great, but her whole thing is born. Like, I'm sorry, I find like, her I'm not saying like I've, I've watched her's tiny desk, I've seen like her, like, she's not bad, it's just like. She's good, but she's a good, like she's, she's a borderline good. getting close to gospel, so I'm pretty okay with myself. And she, and that's it. And she's the top of the top of my music artist right now, but bro, like if her became like, a gospel boring. artist, I would understand. Y'all said her is boring, yeah, <laughs> bro. The whole world, the whole war, war shades for like almost three or four years, bro. Oh, on god, out. bro. Oh, bro, like that shit got now. Pain, I've seen bro. your eyes now. I don't even care. I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. I thought she was gonna be cross eyed, bro, bro. Let her wear the shades, bro. No, bro. What that, that got lame. to do with the music? That's <laughs> like, I hate it. Damn, her. bro. She ain't making bro, money, bro. She wore shades every day. Y'all need she's to say, bro. bro, she's literally. Yeah, she's hate, now bro. in she's this born. pocket of like, yep, she's there. It's her. Nah. She's there. You don't get nah. paid for something, but bro, she's born. Mm-mm. I disagree with that, bro. Her is good. I feel like white people don't like her. Oh, damn. <laughs> I ain't going that far. Um, I feel like not only white people like her, like, but I feel like bro, her audience is very not black. So y'all telling me she can't sing? Never she said sing. it. She can her. sing. She's just boring. She, as an artist, she's boring, bro. She's not boring. She's bro. boring as a whole. And I'm like I said, that comes. She makes good straight. music. She makes Tyler Perry. Bro, you can say she's still be boring. She makes Tyler Perry background music. Like bro, she makes more. She makes mall music. Restaurant music, bro. It's like it's cool. <laughs> it ain't bad. Like, it's on the it's radio. In the background, but it's not like nah, Doja Cat make more music. No, bro. Doja can make she do. Music. She make more music. She make pop, pop music is more music. No, She's not, bro. It is. It's not. That's facts. It's not facts. What are y'all talking about, bro? This is what I be Doja talking Cat. about. Doja Cat, bro. In the mall, they play pop Doja music. Cat. Yeah, yeah, but I did not do like not Doja. <laughs> they gonna play. Doja Cat. I promise you, they gonna play some Doja Cat, bro, in the mall. Damn, what is he talking about? Bro, Doja Cat is Doja not bad. 
nor is she like the greatest Never artist play, in the world. But she can't she's part still of the R&B still. artist, dog. If someone said, "Hey, man, play me some R and B music," you're not gonna play fucking Doja Cat. This is true. I'm not gonna play Doja Cat. So why is she winning this award? Because SZA ain't but dropping nothing, did. and Janae Eco hasn't dropped nothing since the beginning. Jasmine of Sullivan. 2020. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> I feel, like we, so, I feel like we'd be a fake to Jasmine. Oh, God, y'all like, are, bro. Oh, God. Oh, like, we yeah, haven't I reviewed her album. I, and I, I, oh, I love Jasmine, bro. I'll be honest, bro. I love Jasmine. Not we do, like, bro, but can't, can't does she Jasmine? deserve her award yet? Not yet. She's still oh. coming back in. She's no, coming she, back she in. She's been this far. She should have it. Maybe I should care about her music. Yeah, all right, bro. <laughs> Am I capping, though? Like, damn. Let's get into the Steve Harvey shit, man. I Steve Harvey was saying basically that uh, men and women can't be friends, and that there's always going to be some sexual relation with the two. So, uh, um, I can go first. I can, I, I can be quick. As a man, as the only man in a certain section of, him, of his workplace, I can say that being men, being what's the word, friends with females, is a real interesting situation. Like regardless of how you feel about it. Even if you're being a genuine, because I, I move it as a genuine person who likes to say energy, you know, a motivation, because I know we all need it. And like I said, that's just who I am. But I can say that women are hoes, bro. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> this is where you want to go with it. Damn. <laughs> I really thought, hoes, yo, I'm right. thinking this man about to take the whole humble route. Right. Oh, like, <laughs> no, 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 I'm getting yeah, out I'm a nice yeah, guy. I'm, I'm, I'm no. Women are weird, bro. Like, I feel like it is, they're very messy. I feel like, I don't know how I imagine a whole world is full of niggas, but, bro, like, women are real, like, it's just, I don't know. Bro. It's something about it. Like, you could be a genuine nigga and they still be acting like you a piece of meat. Bro, like, old ladies. Do you say old ladies? Old oh, ladies, what, bro? <laughs> the lag ate that up, bro. <laughs> Marlon, did you say the it old ladies are hoes too? Yeah, just grabbing on the shit at work. Wow, I ain't gonna cap. I remember life. I was I'm just saying, and and they, you could be, you could be friends with a female, but I just feel like there's certain like guard boundaries that you have to keep. I feel like if you you can't be doing too much and be call, calling yourself somebody's friend. Like you can't make passive moves like you can, like you're trying to fucking be somebody's friend. It just it just don't work like that. Mm. Like if you establish that we're friends in the beginning and you establish what this relationship is, because like I feel no friends, I keep it. You know what I'm saying? And just and then those situations never happen because you keep them like you're my sister, I'm, I'm your brother, I'm 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 here for you. Because that you know what I'm saying having having more friends in life is a blessing. You see what I'm saying? But hey, you have to keep that balance, especially if you're in a relationship because it gets real sticky. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But y'all can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, but yeah, being in a relationship, being, being in a relationship and having female friends, it gets real sticky because you don't want to like cross the boundary of being good friends, and it and then also it makes you look weird with your girl. Like it is, it's a real, it's a real tight, tight issue when it comes to things like that. Do we have the video? With, uh, yeah, Steve um, on? yeah, I got it. Let me see that real quick. Female friends. I don't. I'm I'm incapable of that. Mm. Why? What do you mean? Well, because you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Well, I have a wife, and I don't. I don't really have female friends because look. Okay, let's get rid of this <laughs> myth right here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, "Yeah, I'm. We're friends." No, that's not true. He's your friend only because. You have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. Men think this way. Ninety-nine point nine percent of us think that way. Yes. Mm. And you tell this to a woman and it just blows her back. No, I Not have male back. friends. You have male <laughs> friends because they need... It blows her back. <laughs> Why her back? 
<laughs> it's Steve a fool, bro. He he's slipped that too. piece in there. Oh god, he did. But uh, <laughs> like, what you think? He's not he's wrong. Doing? He's not wrong. There are, there are, there. Are... I'm trying to like to not incriminate myself. No, bro. Yeah, this yeah. Gotta, be, you gotta be real, bro. This no, real okay. matter. Be real, bro. Let, let me let me be real about it. Oh man, that can be true. But like I like I really do have a friend that is a girl, and like we've ha- we have conversations about like almost anything and everything. But I don't want to. Hmm. Like there's like literally just because I just don't want to. It's like nah. Like, even on, if man. you know what I'm saying, even we if, niggas, bro, we niggas, you know no, what I'm saying, no, like, like yeah, yeah, nah, maybe, well, maybe if it was like offered that way, but it was like nah. Really, I'm not trying. I'd rather have conversations with you. Other than that, let me ask you this: mm-hmm. Is she attractive? Yeah, the, most of them be. Don't be by choice Very. either. Very, and Marlon can attest to like the the girls that I know or like the friends that I have. That's just like they are, but I don't want. To. Like it's just something I mean, I, just I, like I, yeah, I'm I good. Did I did it. <laughs> I did it. We was together. <laughs> like, 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 what's up, though, bro? Like, nigga did it, bro. Yeah, man. Like, it's not. And he's not wrong. Because there are, there were, a time, there were times where there were, like, girls who were like that. And I'd be like, yeah. Man, don't, don't do that. You did the same shit. Don't I'm care. saying, bro, y'all kept up right now. Really? So no, bro, bro, and, like, every I'm saying, I'm not trying to criminate myself, but, like, really, I'm dead for real. I'm not saying this. that, okay, every friend you have, you trying to hit. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, like, if she bad, mm-hmm. you ain't looking yes. at her like damn. You know what I'm saying? Shit, y'all, y'all capped up right now. <laughs> y'all y'all capped up right now. Well, y'all telling me right now that y'all not looking at y'all friend like damn. She let me hit one time. I'm going in there one time real quick. Well, as well as Batman don't cheat. Batman don't cheat. <laughs> Batman no, cheating. Don't cheat. no cheating. No cheating. You're, no you're cheating. Single. You're, you're single, single. So don't pull that card. I was single. <laughs> yeah. Not really, not really though. Cause I, I know him too well now. I don't I don't know. I know him too well now. Right, it's like it's certain things about you I don't like. Mar- <laughs> Rasan definitely kept up. I I'm not. I swear to you, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. Really like the thing that. is, I know you lie. <laughs> I know you lie. Cause think about yeah, baby. Who, who your best friend, yeah. Ben. Yeah, ben. I don't know who my who, best who, friend who, is. Who, if the opportunity presented itself, that's different. No, no it's yes not. No. I'm keeping yes it a no. buck yes fifty. I'm yes keeping, no. I'm keeping no. it a buck fifty. Too. I'm keeping it a buck fifty with y'all. I don't yes. look at her like that. I don't. He said the same shit. I don't look at her like I'm that. I'm telling but you that. You can look at my other friends. It'll be a different. You know, I uh, might uh, be uh, like. So you, so you, so you, so you talking about old old shotty old shotty that we met? Come on, come on. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like yes, I said, I said to name drop. What's I told up? you that same day. I told you. I was like, damn, bro. All right. That's what I'm saying. What he's saying is true, bro. There's truth to it. We're yeah. not going to sit up here and act like we fucking saints. Like we sitting there, no. oh, this is my friend. No, no we, yeah. we're going to keep a platonic relationship. No, fam. Mm-hmm. If you like that, bro, you would do. You have needs. You like sex. If she look good, you want to have sex with her. It's that it's, simple, bro. These are, these are <laughs> bad. You don't sugarcoat this shit, bro. Sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you legit don't want that. Like, mm, with that okay, girl, I, I, with that girl, no. But there are friends that are girls that would be like, if the opportunity presented itself, obviously, yeah. If you were saying yeah, you were like, definitely. Hey, and like they, I, and like I'm the out. thing is, like they know that. They know they, that. They know that. They feel the same way. I, I'm, I'm be caring. I'm be caring about that part. It's like, bro, I don't really want you right now, or or at all. So it's like, no, but they know it. that. That's the thing. They are like. Because in the end of the day, they have a lot more control in the situation than they try to act like they do. Like, they really try to act like, oh, I have no control over the world. That's No, you know. Mm-hmm. You know. You All you have to do is say the certain words or the things so you can create the reactions. All it takes is one phone call, bro. She hits you up. Like, yeah, yep. I'm trying to come over real quick. I got to like, talk oh, to you. I'm like, can I talk about what? <laughs> yeah. She, well, we can't talk about on the phone. Exactly. I'm like, yes, bro, because I don't need come why well, I come see you folks. Exactly. 
These are real things. It's not like yeah, Damn. real matter podcast. <laughs> Come on, man, <laughs> ain't going nowhere, Captain, bro. Not nah, nah, bro. Not today. Ain't, no <laughs> ain't doing that shit, bro. Hey, all right. So Kevin Samuel mm-hmm. he talks about the OnlyFans girls. Um, they talking about how they gonna get money for a long time and how they feel like they rich and shit. OnlyFans just came out. It's probably not gonna last that long. No, but no pause. OnlyFans gonna continue to be at the adult side because I feel like they're never gonna get the financing for it. Then you're never gonna get away from that. Yeah, because what is it? OnlyFans are trying to push away from adult content, supposedly. Sure, that's all the money come from. But which is so like, stupid because y'all might as well just go ahead and turn it into that. Exactly. Because might as well. That's all these people really are coming on there for. I'm not starting yeah. OnlyFans they, they to videos, exp- they to sell my them. workout videos. No. Or but like nobody's, nobody's gonna go do, have an OnlyFans for regular shit. Yeah, because like if you think OnlyFans, all you think is porn. There's you're not thinking of the people who are oh we're content creators, so you should follow my OnlyFans for my vlogs. No, that's what YouTube is for. We ain't worried about yeah, that like shit. don't nobody worry about that. Like OnlyFans is for why that. Hell, why the hell do I want to pay for that? It exactly. allows it allows the women and the guys and whoever's on there to make money mm-hmm. doing what they already do. Legal yeah. money, bullshit. and like it also makes it also like a, a safer way of spending your money on porn. Yeah, literally, because people feel more comfortable spending money on OnlyFans than any of the other crazy websites that people go to. You know what I mean? That are just gonna charge you weird prices monthly. Yeah, like they'd be like, "Oh, I can pay five dollars, and I can just go ahead and see the home girl that I went to high school with." Bit <laughs> like, and that's it. There's no, we've said this before. There ain't no, um, everything's for sale now and you can get yeah. away with it. Like it's, it is what it is. And yeah. Kevin, Sa- Kevin Samuels, he's a, he's a goat. <laughs> he speaks yeah, for the people. Like, I'm not saying like some stuff he says, you're just like, yo, chill, <laughs> chill. But he'd be really letting them know. And like, watch, we're going to see it in the video. One sec. And it's not just him <clears throat> towards me, it's towards women because men have no place at all to say how women should and should have every place we built the goddamn world you live in no you didn't I'm gonna God. Say- i just also want to just say that the point of oh men have no place to uh what is it called savvy say literally the stuff that you do on only fans is to cater to the men that you want so in a sense men have every say in what you do yeah so it's like it's the harsh truth because like you don't want you want to feel that you're so liberated and oh i'm free and i'm doing this but the thing is that you're doing this in hopes that you're making money off of the same guys that you're saying aren't bringing Mm -hmm. you or doing anything for you Mm -hmm. and that's where you like this that's that mentality he's like oh i'm I'm the biggest boss yeah okay (laughs) your boss is the guy who beat me like what do you mean (laughs) you're stupid is built by men. I'm gonna say what, nobody made this about men you guys or women. Not get paid. This is, this is what I sit here. So this is what tends to happen when whether it's OnlyFans, TikTok, Instagram, and, and when women can't handle it, they leave. This is true. This is the point. You, this is about business. Business isn't offensive, but when people in their lack of knowledge gets exposed, they get offended. They call themselves experts and business owners and everything else. You're mm-hmm. sh- online strippers, mm-hmm. but make a little bit of money. Congratulations. I'm good with escorts. I'm good with strippers. But when someone like Hafiz or myself tries to sit down and talk to you about your level of ignorance, you're offended. Your ignorance is what offends you. And it's offensive to me that you're going to try to make this about men and sexism. This is what the world has done. It's got little pampered princesses who can get online, make some money, and think that they're on the same level as men who built this world, and they are not. That's what you just saw them leave, because they can't go get onto Wall Street, Main Street, anywhere, Mm -hmm. into a bank, into anybody's business, to be taken seriously with their so-called business plan or their go-to-market strategy. You're taking what the world has given you, your creator has given you, and you put it online. Thank men for building the internet, the computers, the smartphone, and everything else that allows you to sit up in your luxury apartment and get paid for showing your feet. We did that. You didn't. And in 10 years, when no one wants to see your feet or your G-string or your tattoos or whatever else, a fees, 
uh, Chris, the roommate, the roommates, uh, Mario, Fresh, not Mario, Mar- um, Myron, Myron Fresh, Dude. we will all be still running our businesses because we don't get emotional about business. When somebody tells us we have a hole in our game, we mm-hmm. humble ourselves, we check ourselves, we get literally. Mm-hmm. The man is preaching. He is. He letting y'all know because all that stuff is so temporary. Like, all the those two girls who walked out and dipped out or whatever, bro. Like they know it's temporary. Mm-hmm. Like there are days where you gotta like sit there and you look at your own money and be like, yo, this is what it is for right now. What can I do for the next step? And slowly every day you getting older. Yep. You getting older, nobody gonna want to look at your feet. Like yeah. those are real things that real people should be thinking about, but they mm-hmm. don't. And they really do think that they on these big levels of being like the biggest moguls in the world. Because they made this for this time period, bro. No. Like, if you want to, you know, do OnlyFans and stack bread, I ain't got no problem with that. Because like, you know, yo, you know that there's something a- else that I have to do. There's something, you know, I have to tap into. There's another level because this is not going to last forever. Mm-hmm. It's that yeah, simple. Man, they, they tripping. Like, they. We don't, don't live they- forever, bro. Yeah, man. Better because we have the we have the business of building the world. We can't fucking walk off like babies because it happened. I didn't like it. See, Atlas can't shrug. If we shrugged, you would die. That's what happens every time one of you little crybabies gets called out here on the platform you came to to get attention you asked for. When you get more smoke than you're willing to handle, you want to cry and stomp off. Well, kick, kick rocks, and guess what? There'll be a new one tomorrow. Because now that one of y'all on the panel can honestly say that you are bringing something to the market that ain't 15 of other chicas down on the street bring it. None. So when we sit here and try to have a conversation with you and tell you, guess what? Whether you're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever, every new influencer, every new person thinks this because they have the dope content. They've got the fucking key. They got the they they even discovered fire. They've invented the wheel, and there's more that goes into it than just turning on a camera and saying, "Hi, I'm on YouTube. Hi, I'm on Facebook. Hi, I'm on only planning." It takes work. It takes strategy. It takes business knowledge. It takes collaboration. It takes a lot of things that you obviously don't have, and that's why you're upset. Because at the end of the day, you know you don't have them, and you don't have the patience, the intelligence, even the patient, the patience, the intelligence. Even the resources to sit down and just listen. So carry your cell phone, and when OnlyFans stops, Subway will be hiring. Oh Damn. my God, my drop! Wow. Not the Subway. Damn. Speaking of Subway, what they doing with the tuna though, bro? What they talking about with that tuna, bro? I like that tuna, man. I don't eat yeah. tuna, so like I I actually, that tuna, bro. Yeah, I really don't eat tuna. But about, yeah, yeah, there's no tuna in this DNA. What? Yeah, that shit is crack. I like that shit, man. Oh, yeah, so, man. It's horse meat, man. Man. Oh, yeah. man. Going back to what he was saying, though, man. Spitting. He ain't lying. Spittin'. lying. Like, OnlyFans is temporary, like how just how Forex is and everything else that slowly goes by. When we're old, we're just going to one day yeah. just look back at this and just be like, remember there remember was a that? time. Remember OnlyFans? <laughs> right. Like, like Pornhub's been around for ages. Like these things have been around for a long time, and those things are probably going to be around forever, truly, because they're ongoing things. OnlyFans mm-hmm. is not, because people create content every day, every damn day. Sex is always going to be around. Exactly. There's but no stopping. Humans it. don't live forever. Even if people want to have like like dolls that have sex, it's still going to go on, no matter what. So it's like y'all, uh, so disappointing. It's like, man, do what you got to do to make your bread, but still understand the circumstance. Understand that, hey, what I'm doing is not really substantial. It's not going to last long. Mm-hmm. Let me make sure I prepare for the future. That's all we're saying. Yeah, basically. So, yeah, man. Hey, Derek Chauvin, you got sentenced to 22 and a half years. He did. He did. It's crazy. Y'all had sent that in the chat, and I was like, "No, it was the fact that you didn't know what the fuck we was talking about." Like, <laughs> he go. didn't, bro. I didn't. I, I, I am not gonna him. lie. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I knew that guy's name. I didn't know his name. I knew, like, I saw. I only knew him from photos. Hmm? Like, that's Derek. That's the guy. Who, you didn't know his name. We've been talking about him though. 
I didn't know that. Man. I didn't remember that man name, bro. Yo, do you know how fast yeah, the media switches, bro? We was talking about that every day in the beginning of COVID, and then all of a sudden it just switched up, and like we just stopped talking about it, and then randomly it kept reappearing. Bro, I don't know. It's been the news, bro. Where you watch our news at? I've been watching the news, but I was at work probably like that whole week and wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, anyway, do y'all feel like it was fair though? Twenty two and a half years. Mm-hmm. What you think, Rob? 22 and a half years for killing somebody. unfiltered thoughts on that. 22 and a half years for killing somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's 22 and a half years, and whatever he was actually in jail, he he was already in jail, that also went towards it. So, like, they, like, credited his time in there towards that. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not long enough, even though he's on like mass amounts of parole, even when he gets out and like stuff yeah, that stuff. It could be like 15. You know. Yeah, like he has like he he has I think he can't like have firearms. He can't do like there's a lot of stuff he can't do even when he gets out. But it's not mm. long enough. Who came up with the number of 22 and a half years? I feel like, no. try to find like-, like that's like the most random number. 22 yeah. years. Bro, just give that man a book. Like, give a good thirty. Yeah, they try to give him the middle. Just say thirty. You know, you think thirty. They ain't want to give too. They get like if that's, bad, if that's the case. Too- what do y'all think he should have had? Give him forty years. Life. Just about give, give him at least forty. You said life. <gasps> forty the yeah, life. life. Like that's not. That's 50. not. Give him. Give him a good fifty. Because regardless, he probably in those twenty-two years, he's not gonna die in jail. You know, you know what I mean? Like y'all gave Steve out. Harvey, uh, 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 Bill, like, Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby. Y'all gave Bill Cosby basically what life? What was it? Yeah, what did man. we get? Whatever. Yeah. Well, basically, whatever you gave him was life in his in his age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you gave him enough time to <clears> still <throat> get out definitely. and go back saying, out and people live get twenty five years for like weed, bro. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like that about? that price to pay is way too low. Come on, man. Like, yeah, you're going to jail. But when you get out, you're still going to be able to live mm-hmm. some kind of a life. That like, it's not going to be the life that you want to live, but it's always, it's still going to be, I'm free mm-hmm. to an extent. So it's not a, it's not, uh, it's not a super win. It's just like, it's it happened. Right. I mean, is it a move in the right direction? No. Nah. Because, like, people can get arrested and locked up for these things, but it's, like... I mean, it would have to be, y'all, because he's a cop who actually got indicted. For so. 22 years. Yeah, but he actually got something compared to just getting off. It is know, a, so it's a move. And nothing for all that. It's a move. It's a small move, but it's going there. So, hopefully... They had to, they had to give you something at this point. Yeah, they had to. Yeah. Boy, if that nigga would have got off, shit. Boy, mm-hmm. the, the city might burn down. Uh huh. Everything. The city would have burned down. The whole city would have burned down this time. Uh, the last thing I want to get into is this Joe Budden podcast. You know, okay. Rory and Maul officially split. They got their mm-hmm. own podcast now, the yep. Rory and Maul podcast. Um, what do you guys think about it, man? Do you think, you know, with us having our podcast, can friendships be mixed into business? Because that was a big topic on there. It's just like, you can't really mix the two. What do you guys think? I feel like Joe is an asshole. <laughs> like, like, regardless of how you want to shake it, I feel like the reason why their friendship failed because they don't, they they, they weren't like brothers, bro. It was more like niggas, we just knew niggas that know each other. I just don't feel like they have a real tight connection about things. I think that it was, I think it was just a lack of accountability and like, a, a, like, being real with yourself and your team because even coming back into us recording and getting back into this it's like i gotta tell my team this is how we gotta run or we or we gotta come up with a real plan of action for everything that we do because we move as a unit and we create content or whatever that them it really felt like it was a one-sided thing especially with the podcast just being named the joe button podcast Mm -hmm. because you it makes it known that y'all are part of this team yeah but i am still the head of this this is the figure so all things that i say in a sense go and when you're working on a team like that is like 
the month like and like i know it a lot more like even as a person who wasn't even watching it like constantly mm-hmm. I just know when it came down to money, that probably was like the weirdest thing because those conversations probably weren't had in the, the beginning. It was like, bro, yeah. Like those conversations couldn't have been had and understood and Joe knew what he was doing on the back end with whatever it was with the accountants and all this other crazy junk that also just brought more problems. You know what I mean? Um, it's a lot of things. There's layers to it. Mm -hmm. Joe is not honest. He's a dishonest person. And I feel like they're also very gullible. They're naive to think that he wouldn't do them the same way that he's been done before. Yeah. Like, yo, Joe came from everyday struggle dealing with money and problems with that. And those are the reasons why he left Mm -hmm. outside of like your conversations with your co-host and how you are like, we got to understand Joe Budden, he is a jerk. Like, I think we think that it's an act for the cameras, but truly, that's really his personality. That, like, that's literally how he is, like, anger. And I, feel and, like, and I feel like that problem is people don't expect him to be that way. I feel like if you, if once you realize he's going to be an asshole, I think you don't, you don't care as much. So, like, you just got to move. Like, you got to take everything he says with a grain of salt and do your own, like behind the scenes understanding of it you know what i mean I feel like they didn't do their research they kind of got too lackadaisical it was like yeah this is my friend this is my friends like you still a man at the end of the day yeah you still have bills to pay that's your money on the line you need to worry about that you can't just mm-hmm. sit there and say man that's like me saying we making millions right yeah and then Rasan is ahead of the accounts I'm like, man, that's Rasan. Rasan, good. I'm gonna just let him do. Rasan is a human being. Mm-hmm. He is capable of making mistakes. I am not letting Rasan handle all the money. That's just dumb. That makes sense. Yeah, like just sense. having Joe Budden and his own team kind of handle all the money, and y'all just get like a paycheck from know. this. Yeah, like, come like on, you bro. at least, especially as people who are holders, shareholders, and mm-hmm. this and whatever, y'all should know a little bit more than what it was. And then I'm watching their podcast. It just looked forced, man. Like, oh, it's most definitely a forced podcast now because really you're, you've been doing this for years now. And it's like, dang, this is entwined. Now we have to figure out how do we do it on our own. And it's just crazy how he, like, he just basically replaced him so easily. Bro, he, because it's after all them years. Yeah, bro. He got a lot of niggas he, he know he can fuck with. So think about it, bro. Those are two niggas who know him longer than Roy and Ma. Like, that shit crazy, bro. I said, "Oh, the grand saw," and, and and they have better conversation than both of the niggas at all. So, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that whole history. <laughs> fuck all that bro, five bro, years. Yeah, bro, listen, bro, listen to him talk to fucking ice and ish, bro. It's like talking to us, bro. Like it's like real friendship, like yeah. And, and like they know, more. and it's like they know who he is, and, and they're not gonna get offended by the shit he say. It was cause Ma, bro. Ma didn't want to talk, bro. He didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> no, but I ain't never said a nigga just act like he did not want to be there. He didn't want to say nothing, bro, for he years. Talk about life. If I still see him on his new podcast, he be actually talking. I'm like, bro, stop, stop, stop thinking it, bro. <laughs> yeah, facts. No, that's not you, bro. Come on, facts. Man. You know that's not you, bro. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit, I'm... man. Yeah, man. That's another episode, bro. Oh, nah, yeah, man. Real Magic Podcast. Yeah. Season four. Season four, we back voice of the culture we giving y'all all the content we about to go ahead and get some good guests on this season yes, so, yeah. we're gonna bring y'all some people shout out to like shout out to elon shout out to paul all the yep. people that help us yep. with like yeah, on the behind yeah. the scenes and to this point yeah, yeah man. man all the we support appreciate y'all. We, we glad to be back and we're about to be in this piece man all the love man appreciate it y'all niggas was like man y'all stop man why y'all stop man we ain't stopped nigga no. we still on this shit man so we, we love y'all man appreciate everything yeah, we coming yes, in, sir. we coming strong. Let's go, y'all. Real Matic Podcast. Yeah. Episode 47. 47, right? Yep. 47. Yeah. We, we out. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to check out more videos.